Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on plotting a quadratic graph. Now we have a quadratic equation here and remember a quadratic equation is when we have an x squared term and maybe an x term and maybe a constant term like this. And in this previous video we saw how if we had a bunch of values of x we could substitute each of these x values into that equation in order to work out what y was and I'm not going to recover that here. So each of these x, y values represents a point that we want to plot on some axes here. So let's look at each point in turn and then just plot it and then join them up. Our first point is minus 4, 5. So the x value is minus 4. So if we go along the x axis here, minus 4. The y value is 5. So 5 on the y axis is going to be here. We get this point here. So let's plot that with a cross or a dot. Next, we've got the point minus three, zero. So when x was minus three, y was zero. On the x-axis, let's go to minus three, it's here. And the y value is zero, that means we don't go up or down, so it's going to be here. We've also got when x is minus two, y is minus three. So when x is minus two, which is here, y is minus three. So minus three is gonna be here. So we've got this point here. Then we've got minus one, minus four. So minus one, minus four here. Uh, when x is zero, y is minus three. So zero minus three is going to be here. Uh, when x is one, y is zero. X is one, y is zero. And finally, when x is two, y is five. So we want to plot two, five, two, five. It's going to be here. Now we've got all our points, and notice the points seem to be symmetrical, like these are level, these are level, these are level, and can you see this seems to be forming some kind of curve. If we were to use values of x in between, so for example, if we were to use x as 1.5, it should be somewhere between these two points here. And all we need to do is just join these up with a curve. So what I tend to do it as a continuous straight line without taking my pencil or pen off the paper. Now do not join them up with straight lines, we need to join it up with a smooth curve, making sure that we go through each of these points. We don't sort of try to aim for the point and then miss them. So like that, with smooth wrist action. And then we get this here. So just to reiterate, if your points are like this, do not join them with straight lines. Join them with a nice smooth curve like that. And quadratic graphs are either this in shape, so a smiley face shape, or a kind of frowny face shape. So they're either a U shape or an N shape like that. If you don't get one of these shapes and you have a quadratic equation, then you've gone wrong.